morning this is Renee how's it going well it's raining today I'm not a big fan of raining and driving so I'm gonna see how these local people drive here in a few minutes <laughs> I had planned on doing deliveries today and I didn't look at the weather till later last night and I thought it said it was going to rain on Saturday when I would be working at the shop. But even though it only says 30% chance of rain, it's been raining the last hour. So, who knows? I'm just going to go with the flow as usual. <laughs> so, yesterday I did get a chance to uh, do a delivery. Um, I... Later when I thought about this, maybe I misinterpreted what the GPS was telling me. Because it ended up taking me on the highway and then back off the highway to get where we needed to be. And I'm like, oh my God, what is wrong with this GPS? And then later I thought, you know, it really wasn't clear when it said to make a slight right near the highway. And I interpreted it to mean to get on the highway anyway so I went out of the way I came back because the location was not unknown to me I knew the general area but I thought well you know the GPS is in charge so eventually I got to where I was supposed to be and um, the guy was cool about it he was kind of sitting out on the curb <laughs> and uh, he even gave me a tip so that was cool but that was my only delivery because I um, got hungry after smelling all the food. I had to stop and eat. So, and now I'm realizing it gets dark earlier than it should. I don't know if it's a location where I am, but I know in the summer it usually gets dark at 9 o'clock. But even though it's late summer, it's getting dark around 7 here. So I have to take all that into account when I sign in to do deliveries. I'm not accustomed to this area enough to do them in the dark yet. So I've only, you know, I've doing, I've only delivered like three things so far. At least the first two of the places, at least, were the same place, and I knew where it was to start because I eat there myself. That's a good thing. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. Um, I may not have said that um, I wasn't able to work my normal hours this week because um, my boss said that I couldn't, and I don't know why, except maybe we've been because we've been slow. So yeah, I have to figure out how to make this work now. It's, it's a really a big issue right now. Huge! <laughs> yeah. So, otherwise, uh, besides for the delivery... Oh, where I've been sitting up here is only part of the lake view. And I kind of knew, I knew this, but I've only been down closer one time. And yesterday I happened to go to the coffee shop because they have a coffee shop... Uh, like it's kind of like down the hill where everyone apparently goes to look at the water and not here when I'm thinking well, there's only two spots as lookouts and I guess part of me was like that's weird but then I knew there was a coffee shop in an area down down the hill I just had never driven there so that makes a difference when you don't drive places it really does at least to me things don't always stick as well if you're not physically Maneuvering, maneuvering there, I guess. Anyway, so I went down there, went to the coffee shop for a while. And um, I have a bad habit of always ordering something. I cannot afford to always order something when I go somewhere. In my mind, I know this. But I get there and it looks so good. And it's just kind of like I have to buy something to sit here. Basically, I pay a $4 entrance fee for sitting and charging my phone. And I can't do that anymore. Remind me. Renee, you and Blueberry can't afford that. <laughs> and even if I could, why? <laughs> so 
So I did that. I charged my phone up, which is really the only reason I went down there. And then I realized I had to go to relief. And then I remembered why I probably forgot this coffee shop because it doesn't have an indoor um, restroom. It's restroom is connected to the park system, you know, like a regular outdoor restroom where you go men and women. Ooh, guys, come on. Can you point toward the seat so it doesn't stink so much? Ugh. That's probably why I forgot about it. Because um, I probably said I'll never come here again. Because I don't want to deal with this. I mean, the restroom is my friend right now. I don't need to go to one that smells like a urinal. So, scratch that one off my list. At least for that purpose. Bad memory. Very bad memory. Anyway... <laughs> So I left there, and that's when I had uh, gotten the call to go do delivery, and ended up, of course, on a different part of the town. And then after I delivered, I was right near somewhere I could get some food and warm it up, and I've got to stop using microwaves. I hate microwaves. I have to find a way to do this indoor food system. I don't know. I'll be reviewing van dwelling videos for actually making food other ways. I've been making food all my life. I love to cook. <sighs> I'm not really upset. I'm just a little frustrated with myself. For the moment, it'll pass. So, after I finished that, um, I was trying to decide what I wanted to do. Uh, did I want to take less? I didn't have that much time left in daylight. It was already six something. So. I decided to go to a different coffee shop and then I ordered another <laughs> another pastry. What is wrong with me? Okay, we're past that. So, and I was only there like an hour and a half because it was the end of the day. And I kept thinking, where is that one that was open till 10? I don't remember. Um, I thought there was a later coffee shop I had found. Anyway, so that was kind of it for the end of the day. I see I'm, I'm getting long already and it takes longer to upload the longer the videos. <laughs> But yeah, so it was an interesting day. Again, it's raining today. We'll see um, what adventures we have today, me and Blueberry. We do have to go and have our brakes looked, up, looked at. So that should be something we get taken care of free and today. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Subscribe, subscribe.